So my young TikTok friend Kaleem thinks I'm in a cult. Okay, what's something that's not a cult but seems like a cult? <clears throat> Ex-Muslims. <laughs> like if I'm ever homeless, I would go live in their brains because I'd be living rent-free. <laughs> you get it, you get it, rent-free. Yeah. I'm going to show you just how wrong he is. Let's see who's really in a cult. Who can read whatever books they want without having to worry about it being un-Islamic? atheists and ex-Muslims, who can only read books that are in line with the Quran and Sunnah without having to worry about being involved in misguidance, Muslims, who can pick and choose what makes sense to them, what beliefs are correct, how they want to live their life, ex-Muslims, who has to go completely by the Quran and Sunnah, Muslims, who can only believe what the Quran and Sunnah says, Muslims, who is not allowed to criticize, make fun of, joke about, insult the great and glorious leader Muhammad, Muslims, in fact, even non-Muslims because they'll be attacked too. Who is allowed to think and say anything they want? Ex-Muslims. Who is forced to pray five times a day, fast an entire month, wear hijab, etc., etc., under threat of hellfire? Muslims. Who can pray, meditate, or fast if they want to, or not if they don't want to? Ex-Muslims. Who is forced to have a certain dress code? Muslims, especially Muslim women. They have to put that thing on their head even if it's blazing hot outside. Who can wear whatever they want? Ex-Muslims. Who is kicked out of the house, threatened with abuse or even death for criticizing or not believing in Islam? Muslims. Who is allowed to think and be themselves? Ex-Muslims. Hell, we don't give a shit what you think. Who is in a cult now? Is it really ex-Muslims? Stephen Husson's bite model of authoritarian control is interesting. It gives four characteristics that cults employ on the members. Behavior, check. Muslims must behave a certain way. Information, check. Many Muslim countries block sites against Islam, take down YouTube videos, etc. Thought control, check. Muslims must not think bad thoughts about Allah. I seek refuge in Allah from shaitan. Where did Allah come from? Don't think like that. Emotional control, check. I am sinful if I'm not a good enough Muslim, if I listen to music, if I don't pray five times a day, if I don't wear hijab, etc, etc. Even Muslims will admit that Islam is one of the toughest religions. It requires a lot from its adherents. And frankly, it has many cult-like characteristics. I hope you can see that. Wallahi, they left the religion, but they're still obsessed with the religion. A'udhu billah, make up your mind, man. Yeah, man. Some of us want to make the world a better place. So we talk about this. So nobody else has to go through what we did. I spent 15 years of my life dedicated to Allah and following His way and promoting it however I can. Glad I left it when I did, though. I've never looked back and I haven't been happier. Funny thing is, most of them leave because they want to go drink and party and do haram stuff, you know. This is a hilarious comment. I'm in my late 30s. I have five kids. I'm married. Do you think Muslims don't party and drink? Hell yes, they do. So why would they need to leave Islam for that? Just have your sins, then fast Ramadan, go to Hajj and clean up after. Problem solved. Well, I some of them be making these dedicated accounts to like disproving Islam. Most bullshit thing I've ever seen. It should be put under the comedy section of Netflix. Comedy. Yeah, and Islamic accounts should be put under the fiction section. Or maybe the dangerous to society one, <laughs> if there was such a thing. Wallahi, some of them, when they were Muslims, they didn't even know how to pray. They didn't know what salah was. They didn't know what wudu was. Two rak'as in wudu. Remember that one kid? Two rak'as in wudu. Allahu Akbar. So what? Not everyone is a good cult member. Some weren't that brainwashed. Doesn't make the religion true. Look at it this way. Imagine a good Muslim rewrite like Cactus Boy being told all this stuff by you. Oh, he wasn't a good Christian. He hardly prayed to Jesus Christ. He didn't know all of the beliefs of Christianity. That doesn't mean anything. Just because you aren't an expert in the beliefs of your former religion doesn't mean you're wrong about them being incorrect. Some of them be so confidently and so cocky, but then they end up running away from a debate. Kind of like Emory for Christ or infidel noodle pleasing. Not everyone is good at debate, bro. Some people are better at writing out their arguments. Some people are better at speaking. Just because you lose a debate does not mean you are wrong. It just means you aren't as good as convincing the audience that you are right in a live setting. But what I have seen in my past is the opposite. I have seen that many Muslims are often not happy to have us ex-Muslims in their midst. I have been kicked out of multiple groups and not allowed to call in on some dawah shows so many times that I made a list on my blog called Why Are Muslims Running Away? I think that Things are changing now and ex-Muslims are being allowed into the conversation and I'm happy about that. Allah, y'all are jokes. You left Islam. Leave. I don't care. Bye. Bye. 
Yes, you do. You do care. That's why you're talking about ex-Muslims. But we don't mind. We're happy that we are now at the point where you acknowledge their existence and you are forced to confront the reality that according to Zakir Naik, 25% of ex-Muslims leave Islam all over the Muslim world. Yes, Islam was ultimate and uncontested for the longest time. Not anymore. Now more and more people are becoming free from its shackles. You can be free too. Look into the Quran and see that it is not the work of God, but the work of a man. Free yourself. Read what you want. Do what you like. Live your life for yourself, not based on what Muhammad wanted you to live. This is your friendly neighborhood ex-Muslim, Abdullah Samir, signing out. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more such videos. And if you'd like to support me, check out my Patreon or my support page for details on how to sponsor my videos. Thank you so much for watching.